what you're going to see over the next 10 minutes is never before seen footage shot on home video equipment of one of the greatest unrepeatable boat fishing trips of all time. Certainly one of the most intriguing. The man on the rod is English angler Pete Thorman and the skipper Trail Whittam at Strews Bay in South Africa who at the time had a license to catch, measure, tag and release great white sharks for research purposes. Whittam's record with great white sharks is second to none yet even he was taken aback by both the numbers and the size of the fish this particular trip delivered. With 12 big sharks in 7 days fishing, the best of which came out of the weight estimation formula at 960 kilos. In 2010, Pete Thorman was interviewed by Graham Pullen for a Fishing Films and Facts audio angling podcast. Some of that interview was reproduced here to accompany this video collage. So what got you into the really, really giant sharks, Pete? Another chap I was talking to, Peter Petzer, was doing trips to South Africa for Great Whites. A guy there had a licence to tag and release for the uh, Research Institute. So I booked up on that and went out there and that was just totally awesome. We're just sitting around now just enjoying the sun. Fred's not been too well at the moment. He's just got a bit... Uh, Upset stomach with a sea. He's getting a bit of colour now, as you can see. Feeling a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> We've been fishing for a couple of hours now. We've caught one or two different sorts of species of fish. I've managed to get a tote of about 30 pounds, which we've now got on as shark bait. Uh, I'm just going to sit down now and wait see if we can get some, track some great whites for the boat. We've got a chum trail going, sardines, we've got some pilched oil in as well. I am just say, we're just going to laze around now for an hour or so, and maybe do a bit more bottom fishing. We flew into Cape Town and then it was probably 150-200 mile to Strays Bay, which is close to Cape Agullis, the southernmost tip of South Africa. The fish has now took the bait. It's a big mother. So we've just got to try and get it in. <laughs> we don't seem to want to... I think it was a 24, 26 foot catamaran type of hull boat with two outboard motors on the back. And what sort of distance would you travel and, uh, you know, you're in, out in deep water? It, no, very, it was probably 30 foot of water in the bay. Really? Yeah, you could see the people walking on the beach. They um, presumably couldn't see you fishing for sharks, <laughs> though. <laughs> obviously saw us, but obviously they wouldn't think they knew what we were fishing for. What's your earliest great white to the boat, you know, coming around, sniffing around? Within the hour. Some days you'd get two or three just swims around and just circle the boat. And they wouldn't always take all the time, I understand, would they? No, they, they, it was few and far between. We caught 12 great whites, which apparently has never been done before, it's such a short period. And they ranged from 220 pounds to uh, the biggest one there, 2,116 pounds. Would the average have been sort of up around a thousand feet? There were twelve hundreds, fourteen hundreds, eighteen hundreds, fifteen hundreds. Yeah, mainly over a thousand pounds. When you were going out, you're catching the sharks. You're tagging and releasing them, so you're doing it for conservation and research. And you can see that on the video. You can see the dart tag go in. You can see Trey Lashley and his crewmen having a hell of a job trying to measure this uh, big, or well, one of the big sharks. I don't know what it was twelve, fourteen hundred pounds accurately. It's quite dangerous trying to get that uh, tape on the end of a a great white's nose, I don't think I should be doing it any time soon, but they do a lot of cage diving over there, and I understand it, they still attract them with chum, now, is that drawing the fish away, or, or what do you think is happening uh, on, on, on that score? I know you don't fish for the great whites, uh, now they're protected, but, you know, what's your sort of opinion on uh, fishing as opposed to cage diving? Bear in mind, don't kill any of these sharks. I would never get in the water with one anyway, anywhere near one, and I think if they're 
that shoving them up in his people in the water, surely that would make it, I don't know, is that, that's probably why they go for humans, is it? Well, I do wonder myself, you know, I mean, the, the cage diving is no question of tourism, it's very, very popular, but they're chumming up, but I mean, I've, I've talked to uh, other anglers that have, uh, used to years ago fish South Africa, and some of them were complaining, or the skippers that took them out were complaining that the great whites were actually migrating further up to where the cage diving was, because they're doing, as I understood it, 24-hour chumming around these cages so they could get the tourists out there. Well, if they're doing that, I mean, the big difference I see is, is if, 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 if you used to go fishing for great whites with a rod and line, those sharks come up to the boat, they don't associate food with people. In other words, they see the boat, it's food, it gets caught and it gets tagged and released. If they're going to a cage, they're continually seeing people in black wetsuits in that cage and they're associating people with, with food. So I always think perhaps the cage diving might be the uh, undoing for the great white because he's going to eat more people and when he eats more people, maybe he's, uh, he's actually going to uh, end up getting targeted again. What about tackle? What's the, what's the breakdown on the tackle? Tell us, say, from the hook upwards, what he uses and what line and rods and stuff like that. This all 130 pound tackle, um, 130 line, down to cable and bite trace at the end of that. The cable's probably 25 foot, in the case of or 25, 30 foot, for the case of the fish uh, rolling and wrapping itself. Yes. And then a bite trace at the end of that. Uh, sometimes you'll see a fish come swimming by as so you bring the bait in and try and tempt the fish with that. Other times you'll just be sitting there all of a sudden the, the, the rod will go, you jump in the chair, you put your harness on, grab the rod, he'll gun the boat, you set the hook. And it's hell for leather for five or ten minutes. And what are they like, the general scrap of them? There's so a hard fight to start with, they go a bit nuts on the boat or can well, they come in quiet? It's 15, 20 minutes, it's like pandemonium, then it's just He'll take it, you'll bring it back. Look, like most people, well, not like a Marley. Uh, uh, not, not as hard a fight as that. So, you know, it's a big bulky weight rather than like a, right, a tuna yeah. or a Marlin, I guess, which is, say, faster running. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, the big sharks, they go when they want to go, just purely so incredible bulk of weight. Exactly. Have you seen, or uh, as your skipper talked about, anything really outrageous? I mean, 2,100 is pretty outrageous to me anyway, but is there anything bigger than that swimming out there? Oh, the, the, he reckons there's bigger ones there, he's seen bigger ones there, he's hooked bigger ones there. So he's lost it? he'd had one on there for something like eight or nine hours. And still lost it? Yeah, yeah. What's the longest fight you've had there, Pete? On the, the big one was about an hour and a half, but that was hard, an hour and a half. Constant pressure, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. One thing I've never caught is a tiger shark, and I'd love to go and catch a nice big tiger shark. What sort of weight you got in mind there, Pete? Well, it's got to be a thousand pound plus. <laughs> I can't get nothing smaller. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Number seven. How do you feel? Super. Yeah, great. Seven days and seven whites. <laughs> it's getting like that, isn't it? This is what I came out here for. Well, how much video do you reckon you've taken of uh, all your great white catches? Are people, you know, if we, we can ever get it copied at some stage, you'll be able, people will be able to see what you have caught, because I dare say there are people who think he, he can't have caught those, but I'm sitting with Pete in his office and I'm looking at all the certificates that's up on the wall, and he, he definitely has caught them, because I've watched loads of uh, tape. But how much film have you shot? There must be 30, 40 hours of the great white fishing, included okay. underwater stuff. The fishing I've done all together, there's probably 100 hours of it. Well, it's nice to know because, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, there's always people who say, we can't possibly call to all those sharks, but I think your number's running something like, is it 26 great whites, you reckon you made? Yeah, yeah. Oh, black eyes. Come on, my baby. You've been good. Come on, Pete. Come on. 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 One sixty k. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Two point two. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Two thousand one hundred and twelve pounds. Two thousand one hundred and twelve. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.